There's no question for the New Mexico Farm and Livestock Bureau when it comes to protecting the Oregon Mountains. Let's protect the Oregon Mountains without taking 25 percent of our county and locking it away. Both of New Mexico's senators want a national monument that's about 500,000 acres. Others are suggesting a proposal that would be roughly half that. Others like the New Mexico Farm and Livestock Bureau. Matt Rush is their CEO. The devil's in the details. I think we've all had enough of the D.C. rhetoric that's been shoved down our throats here, and we're like, hey, wait a minute. This is, this is a land grab. Benji Segovia has lived in New Mexico his entire life, and he's the Bureau's regional director. He's in favor of a different plan, House Bill 995. We have a house, and somebody came and wanted to take 20 to 25 percent of your backyard and restrict your children not being able to play on it, your, pup, your, your pets not being able to go in there for whatever reason. Um, you as a homeowner would be upset. I know you would. Under that bill, about 55,000 acres would be under monument protection, and the remaining 217,000 acres would remain as BLM land. That's how the math comes out to about half the amount of protected land that Senators Udall and Heinrich are proposing. All those things will impact uh, grazing. Yeah. Uh, you know, those, those the, in the case of the elk, somebody, somebody has to be you know, taking care of that land, taking care of that water to allow that wildlife to, to flourish. Underneath much of this debate is the question of whether the U.S. government understands what a small New Mexico city needs. I'm, I'm an American citizen. I, you know, I'm a patriot of this great country. But by the same token, don't believe everything that, that some government agencies tell you. Sloan Patton, KRWG News.